welcome back to the Lights Out podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight. We have part 10 of Zoo Friends, the rawsome collection of animal tales. And last night you heard about Hippopotamus, who was blowing the bubbles. <laughs> Tonight, we've got a book called Quiet, by Paul Bright and Guy Parker Rees. Once upon a time, deep, deep in the jungle, chimps were chattering, frogs were croaking, birds were screeching, and a million insects were humming and buzzing. What a lot of noise! It was time for baby Leo to have his morning nap. He'll never get to sleep with all that din, said Ma Lion. Isn't there something you can do? Do? said Pa Lion. Do? I'm the king of the beasts. Of course there's something I can do. He stood up tall, puffed out his huge chest and roared. Quiet! And baby Leo slept. Pa Lion whispering softly but so clearly that all the creatures could hear him. And if any of you make a noise and wake up Leo, I will eat you. All was quiet in the jungle, quiet as the morning mist, quiet as the opening flowers, quiet as a baby sleeping. Suddenly, Cawing and crowing, squawking and squeaking, beaks pecking and claws scratching, two parrots were arguing in the bushes. Quiet, said Pa Lion. It's all right, said Ma Lion. Leo's still fast asleep. I can't eat the parrots then, said Pa Lion. Oh, rats, I'd really like a snack. All was quiet in the jungle, quiet as the trees growing towards the sky, quiet as the leaves reaching towards the light, quiet as a baby sleeping, when suddenly, chuckling and chortling, sniggering and snickering, the hyena was laughing, laughing like hyenas do, but nobody knew what was so funny. Quiet, said Pa Lion. It's all right, said Ma Lion. Leo's still asleep. I can't eat a hyena then, said Pa Lion. Oh, rats, I'm starting to get hungry. But all was quiet in the jungle. Quiet as a calm after a storm. Quiet as sunshine after rain. Quiet as a baby sleeping until suddenly howling and hooting screeching and chattering swinging and swooping a family of monkeys was leaping through the trees quiet said Pa Lion it's alright said Ma Lion Leo's still asleep I can't eat the monkeys then said Pa Lion oh rats I'm hungry now really hungry It was the middle of the day, and the jungle was hot and humid. The animals sheltered in the shade of the trees, drowsy and dozing. And all was quiet in the jungle, quiet as the blazing sun, quiet as the shadows underneath the trees, quiet as a baby sleeping. Suddenly, splashing and squelching, ooching and eyeing, A hippopotamus was yawning in the cool, muddy shallows of the river. Quiet, said Pa Lion. It's all right, said Ma Lion. Leo is still fast asleep. I can't eat a hippopotamus then, said Pa Lion. Sometimes, my dear, said Ma Lion. Your eyes are bigger than your belly. Oh, rats! 
said Parlane. I know this is terrible, thought Parlane, but I do wish somebody would make a little more noise and wake up baby Leo just for a minute. But all was quiet in the jungle, quiet as a fish swimming in the river, quiet as a bird soaring in the sky, quiet as a baby sleeping. Suddenly, a rumbling and a grumbling, a groaning in the morning, a gurgling and a burbling, a noise like nothing ever heard before, loud as thunder, loud as banging drums, loud as a baby crying. Who's woken, baby Leo? cried Ma Lion. Find out who it is, Pa. Find them and eat them now. It's me, said Pa Lion. It's my stomach rumbling. I'm so hungry. The end of a very funny book called Quiet by Paul Bright and Guy Parker. Reese. Here on the Lights Out podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls and lions around the world. Good night.